Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Carl here, Sierra Survival. Uh, yeah, I'm out in the sticks again. Hopefully in my secret location where nobody can find me. And, oh, I can't turn that way. The sun's there. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. It's nice and warm. It's about eight degrees out here at the minute. Um, there's Coco shouting at me because he's wondering why am I talking to my phone? Okay. Um, the plan tonight is I'm going to use my um, new uh, Dutch oven. Yeah, I got a Dutch oven the other day, so I'm going to try and cook a stew on the Dutch oven. Now, I am no Paul Harvey, okay? Um, Paul Harvey, as you all know, is an amazing, amazing camp cook. Um, so you need to go over and check his channel out. Search for Paul Harvey if you're not already on there and um, have a look at his uh, camp cooking channel or uh, group. Absolutely superb. Well, as I said, I'm no Paul Harvey, but I'm going to give it a good go. Uh, another shout out to another person I know who's got a Dutch oven and he absolutely loves it. And that's Alexander the Rocha and he cooks bread and all sorts of things. But me tonight, I'm going to stick with uh, a simple chicken stew, but using gnocchi as a bit of a twist. So, so we'll, we'll give it a go. I've got some uh, carrots. In fact, hang on a minute, I'll show you. Okay, that took some fettling to turn you around, but here we go. So here's my ingredients for tonight. I've got some uh, some mushrooms, some uh, stock, chicken stock, some broccoli, gnocchi, because I love gnocchi. I don't know why, but I absolutely love it. Better than potatoes, I think. I've uh, got myself some carrots, okay. And then in the fridge, in the van, one second. Here's Coco, look, chewing a stick. In the van, in here, look, I've got some, I can get into it. Yeah, in there, I've got some uh, chicken, okay, chicken bits and bobs, and obviously the necessary beer. So, um, I'm going to wait until the light goes down a little bit, and uh, I'm going to start preparing this lot. When the light's gone down a little bit, I've already been out here for an hour, been collecting some uh, firewood and chopping it down. I'll get the fire out, get the tripod on, and let's see how it goes. Well, after a lot of chopping and sorting and everything else, here we have it. So, in here we have the vegetables. I've got carrots, broccoli, mushrooms. Uh, then we've got the chicken, and I've put spices in the chicken there. And the spices I've used are the chicken seasoning, uh, curcuma, I don't know how you say that in English, curcuma, ginger is it, I don't know, paprika, and obviously a little bit of chilli there, okay, salt and pepper, and on the end there I've got the gnocchi, that's going to go in later when I put the, uh, when I put the, the chicken stock in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to brown the chicken off first with using some uh, some coconut oil. Yeah, so I'm going to put that in the pan with uh, a bit of onion, bit of a garlic in the pan, and then see put the chicken in and brown that off. And then over here I've got my uh, Dutch oven. Okay, so there's a tripod, and then the Dutch oven itself. I've got an handle for this that came with it. Oh, I need to take it off this side. There we go, the Dutch oven in there. So hopefully, I'm going to get the fire going in just a sec. Um, I'll, I'll leave it back another 15 minutes, then get the fire going, and then get uh, get things rolling. And I'll show you once I get the chicken and that seasoning in there. Okay.
Okay, I don't know which way the phone goes. Okay, so um, Coco is uh, sleeping in the van. There he is, look. Got his head down. Um, I reckon that the chicken um, casserole should be done in about one and a half beers time. Okay, so it's uh, it's getting a bit chilly now. Um, but it's a, it's beautiful. What a stunning location. Um, yeah, I was here last week, but there's nobody else here, so I'm self-isolating in the forest. Um, I'm just going to clean up now and set the van up for the evening. Once I've done all that, the have a have a beer, and once that's all finished, then I should be ready for um, for dinner. Let's see how it goes. I'll uh, I'll keep you informed on what's happening. Just turn you around and look at this. Wow. Oh, beautiful. And the dinner's on. I've put, some, uh, I've put some coals on top of the Dutch oven, which seems to be the thing. So it's cooking it from the top and from the bottom. Yeah. So uh, the fire's uh, looking really good. Should be done. So now I'm going to sort the van out. And uh, sort my bed out as well. Hubble, bubble, <laughs> toil and trouble. Look at that. You can't really see it for the steam, but it looks and smells bloody amazing. Oh my God. Paul Harvey, if you watch this, you'll be proud of me, mate. One day, I hope to follow in your footsteps. And be a camp chef. Nah, I'll never be that good. <laughs> I'll never be that good. Now, nah, mate, honestly, all you guys out there, if you've got the chance, look, I know we're on lockdown, um, self-isolating, everything else. But even if you get a chance to do something like this in your back garden, I'll tell you what, it's so satisfying. Yeah, it really is satisfying. Oh, my God. I mean, the time now, I don't know what time it is. Hang on a minute. Let me have a look at my phone. It's five to eight in the evening here. And I am so looking forward to this. Yeah. I really am. Oh, hang on. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? <laughs> um, Argos. A bit of Argos. That's amazing. I'm looking forward to dinner. I really am. I think I'm actually going to have some left over for tomorrow. I might have some for breakfast as well. We'll see. I've just had a little taste when I was stirring it then. And the uh, you can definitely taste the chilli. Oh, my God. And what I might do is I might drop it down a little bit now because it's just hovering above the fire there. So I might pop it down a little bit more just to... Uh, I want to burn off some of this water from the stock. Yeah. But we'll see. Let's have a go. Wow, it's looking amazing. Who says you can't eat posh when you go out? Oh my god. It looks absolutely incredible. The chicken is incredible. It's falling off the bone. Let's have a look. Yeah. Some beautiful chicken there. Oh my God, I know I keep referring to Paul Harvey, but you know, he's such an inspiration. Hang on a minute, I think I'm melting my plate. Look at that. Let's get some vegetables in there. Yeah, have my five a day, five slices of carrots. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Wait a minute. Okay, let's set the table. Knife and fork, and wait a minute, and my beer, and look at that, amazing. Okay, I'm going to settle down, I'm going to have some dinner, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Look at this, broccoli, carrots, mushrooms, chicken, gnocchi, oh wow. 
Hi. I don't know if you can see me. Um, I'm sat here in the middle of a forest by a lake. Um, in the middle of well, in the middle, in the north of Czech Republic, having an absolutely amazing meal. All I can hear is the birds getting ready to go to bed. Um, and Coco snoring in the van. But I'll tell you what, absolutely superbious. It doesn't get any better than this. It really doesn't. It's incredible. Let me dinner look. Let me beer. Look at that. Yeah, and then the fire's raging. It's amazing. Yeah, I don't know if you can see anything, but just listen to the birds. What a pleasure! What a pleasure to be here. No, absolute pleasure. I think my hand's getting in the way of the camera. Absolute pleasure. Oh well. Well, I'm gonna tuck into my dinner, finish my dinner off. And then uh, get Coco out and get him for a walk and whatnot. And then uh, go to bed. And I'll uh, catch up with you in the morning. I'm just going to enjoy this. Good night, guys. What are you doing, Coco? Don't get too close to the fire, please. Thank you. Good boy. <sighs> Coco. Oi. Coco. You good boy. <laughs> you good boy. Yeah. Good morning. I survived. What a fantastic night. Coco slept all night. Although, it was a bit cold. Um, I wasn't cold. Coco wasn't cold. Because he had his blanket and I had my sleeping bag. But if you look at the front of the car, it's complete ice. Complete ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it must have dropped to below zero during the night. Coco's just down here having some breakfast. Is that nice, baby? Yeah? Is that nice? Good boy. So, it's, what time is it? Uh, seven o'clock? What? Seven o'clock? It's a long time since I slept till seven o'clock. Oh, look at this. Amazing. What a place to wake up in. Look at it. Yeah. So, we're going to get some coffee on now. Do the morning routine. And then uh, pack up and get out of here before all people start arriving. Because today it's supposed to be um, supposed to be going up into like 16, 17 degrees. So, uh, we need to get sorted. Okay, well thanks for joining me on this trip guys. Uh, last night was incredible with the cooking and everything else. Um, it's been amazing. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. You see the little icon in the, in the corner of the video down there. Uh, the Sierra Survival icon, that's where you can press that and subscribe there. Okay, and press the bell for the next video coming out. Who knows where we'll be? Who knows what we'll do? So, from Coco and myself, thanks for joining us, and we'll speak to you all in the next video. Bye.